Okay, for problem number three of uh, this tutorial, we just need to calculate uh, the z-score uh, on the midterm exam. There will be no separate problem of uh, uh, z-score calculation. This type of calculation is going to be built in into uh, other problems related to the standard normal uh, distribution. But yeah, let's do it. Uh, as you know, z-score shows us uh, how many standard deviations we are above or below the average um, and here we just need to check uh, how many standard deviations we are below or above the average uh, um, when we have the falling temperatures of the body based on the following information that the average uh, human body temperature is uh, 36.8 degrees celsius and the standard deviation is 0 0.7 degrees celsius okay so in the first case uh, we have uh, 37.5 minus 36.8 divided by 0.7 so we are one standard deviation above the average in the first case okay in the second case we have 36.1 minus 36.8 divided by 0 0.7 and in this case we are one standard deviation below the average and for the third case 34.77 minus uh, 36.8 divided by 0 0.7 so in this case we are 2.9 standard deviations uh, below the average and uh, as you remember from the empirical rule uh, if there are two standard uh, deviations um, below the average then that's not something normal yeah and uh, if there are almost three standard deviations uh, uh, below the average that obviously something is uh, something is wrong yeah so this uh, number is a significant outlier uh, and uh, uh, if you think about this, uh, uh, 34.77 degrees Celsius is quite a low temperature for the human body. Yeah, I would even, I would even uh, uh, wonder so if uh, this person is uh, alive or not, or not uh, with such a low temperature. Okay, uh, okay, guys. So as I said, it's uh, not going to be something like separate. So this calculation is going to be built in into the problems related to the standard normal uh, distribution okay problem number four uh, standard deviation uh, variance uh, um, these uh, calculations are also not going to be like set as some separate problem they're going to be most likely part of uh, problem number uh, two uh, which we just uh, discussed where you're going to have some data set you will need to uh, calculate um, uh, you'll need like to uh, calculate like some uh, parameters there including the uh, variance like and uh, standard deviation okay so in this case we have some small uh, data set and we need to estimate uh, uh, standard deviation using the range rule of thumb so which is range divided by four and then just to compare um, with the estimate to actual standard deviation okay so rule of the thumb it's uh, range so which is uh, maximum minus minimum this is our range and divided by 2.75 so this is the uh, standard deviation estimated using the range rule of a thumb and standard deviation so based on the problem setup so this is the sample uh, this data is the sample uh, of the cost of one uh, cigarette like in sense and uh, that is why we need to use uh, standard deviation of uh, the sample in order to do this uh, calculation you remember standard deviation of the sample is uh, different than um, from standard deviation of uh, population so it's uh, calculated slightly differently the formula uh, includes uh, basis correction and we divide by n minus uh, 1 instead of uh, n in case of population so be careful with that 
Okay, and uh, as we can see, uh, standard deviation is uh, significantly higher than the standard deviation which we estimated using the range rule of uh, thumb. Yeah, and obviously if uh, we have such uh, an opportunity, we have such a tool as uh, um, as Excel, so it's better just to use uh, uh, the formula, uh, the function for standard deviation of the sample or population in order to do this calculation. Again, okay, guys, it's not going to be a separate problem. It's uh, most likely going to be built in into problem number uh, two as some additional calculation for the data set. Okay. Okay. So let's move to problem number five.